Miss Melinda here, your spiritual worker from Miss Melinda's Metaphysical Services.com, here to let you know that your personal relationship with any specific spirit, any specific deity, is your relationship alone. The way that a spirit develops a relationship with you is going to be unique to you. The way that a specific spirit communicates with you is going to be unique to you. The what they ask of you is going to be unique to your relationship with them. There is no need for you to compare your relationship and the development of your relationship to that of anybody else's. And you can't expect somebody else to give you a precise recipe on how to develop a relationship with a spirit or on how to honor a specific spirit or work with a specific spirit. The reason why is because the things that this spirit asks of you, the way that this spirit interacts with you, it's going to be different than what happens with other people. Just like your relationships with the people in your everyday life, your relationship is going to develop uniquely dependent upon your personality, your needs, your energetic vibrations, and depending upon spirit and how spirit would like to interact with you and what spirit knows that you need. Let's take Santa Omerta for example. A lot of people are afraid of working with her. They're afraid that they won't give her the right offerings. They're afraid that they won't give her the offerings in the correct manner. They're afraid that if they don't do the right things, go through the right rituals, give her the correct items, that they will be punished. And here's how you avoid that kind of fear. Here's how you avoid that kind of thinking. Go into the relationship with sincerity, with honesty, with vulnerability, with dedication. Go into the relationship with gratitude and respect. Do not ask anything of her in the beginning. Simply tell her your sincere desire to develop that relationship, to deepen that relationship, to strengthen that connection. Give her gratitude. Thank her for all that she does for people, for all that she will do for people. Give her respect. Give her honor. And ask her to send you signs, to send you messages, to send you guidance about how to develop your relationship with her, how to deepen and strengthen that relationship as well as what she needs from you, what kind of offerings she would like, what kind of altar she would like, whatever she may need from you or want from you to strengthen your connection and to continue your relationship. And be open-minded and understand that the way that the information comes to you from her is also going to be unique to you. For instance, I hear many people saying that if you are meant to work with a specific deity or spirit that you will dream about it. This is not the way that messages come to everybody. The way that the messages, the guidance, the insight is going to come to you depends specifically upon you and your spiritual connection and how your intuition works. The spirit or the deity is going to speak to you in the language that works for you. So remember, your journey is your own. Your relationship with a spirit or a deity is your own. You won't be able to Google what offerings to give. You won't be able to Google how to build this relationship. You need to rely upon your intuition and rely upon your spiritual connection. Stay blessed.